Hey, welcome to another set of beers, Jack and Barbecue. These turned out great. I'm Craig, man behind the cameras, Jack. Today, doing kind of a quick one. Um, we've I've done it before, different grills, different things, but today we're doing pork tenderloin. And if you've seen them at Costco, they have the pork tenderloins all cut up, coating just on the outside edge. That's kind of what I did with this. I coated everything up and I sliced it up into pieces. I sliced them pretty thin because today we're using the SNS kettle and we're using the planca, plancha. Probably pronounced that wrong and probably pronounced it wrong twice there. But uh, that's what we're going to use. So we're going to, I have it set up kind of half the coals on one side half in the other so I got a real hot side and then a real not so hot just in case I got to move some things around. But today's rub we're going to use some Postal Barbecue. So Javen from Postal Barbecue has his own rub. I bought two of the bottles. Um, this one here is the original rum so we're going to use that on pork which I already have it on here and uh, looking forward to just kind of doing these hot and fast and uh, we'll see you on the grill. All right, so we got it cranked up. The, the grill is running around 350. I got the coals banked over here. I don't have the slow and searing right now. Um, I just have the coals banked, so I got not really a cool side because that's still pretty warm. Uh, but here's where I'm going to start these tenderloins. And like I said, I'm only going to probably go a minute to a minute and a half a side. Um, I do like using some ghee oil. So just for help for not sticking. It is seasoned pretty nicely. Um, and I've only used it a couple times. That's the only bad thing about being winter time here. Never tried something like this before, but I thought this would be a good way to try it in, to break it in. And you can see the rub just on the outside of those tenderloins, except for this one, which was an end and, and that was an end. So uh, I'm not even gonna close the grill, but we'll bring it back here, um, like I said, in a minute. All right, so I actually I'll let them go about a minute and a half because just as I was watching them, Oh, that looks nice. Oops, just a little stick there. You can see how well, like I said, that, I had one that just stuck a little bit, but got a nice little crust on there. Like I said, just going hot and fast. So we're going to do another minute, then I'm going to check temperatures, possibly move it over to the cooler side um, and see how everything looks. All right, just like I said, just one, uh, just about a minute and a half now. See, they were 115. That was in the 140s. It's a tough to get a, a good reading. Go back to this one, see where I hit. Well, that was climbing. I'm trying to find like, you know, spots where it was. Some of these are going to be done, so I'm going to move them over um, to the uh, cooler side. Like I said, it's not really. It's, just doesn't have direct heat underneath it. So it is technically two zones here. But they're looking good. This is gonna be off in probably another 30 seconds or here. I'll double check a few more just to make sure. This is the only one that didn't get a nice sear, so I'm gonna bring that back to the hot side there for a little bit. Yeah, like I said, it's a tough read when it's such a small piece here. Yeah, these are, like I said, it's, some of these are done at this point, but I was getting less readings, but I also want to make sure I'm in the middle of the meat. These babies are coming off. All right, going to yank them off here. We're going to uh, just let them rest for just a little bit, um, just while we get set up, and then I'm going to cut in and see how we did. I'm liking the crust. I'm liking it's hot and fast, that hopefully we're going to have a nice, juicy pork tenderloin because sometimes to me pork tenderloin can get dried out a little but it looks good see you on the cutting board as always cheers all right so here we are at the end just took a simple pork tenderloin got them at Costco I said I've seen them or bought them there where they had them rolled in spices so it's always good, but I thought, well, I'll try my own. Had the uh, SNS kettle set up with a plancha on it. Uh, again, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but 
we'll have a link for it in, in our description. As you know, we're an SS affiliate. Um, we were given the grill, which many people know, but every other product we actually purchased ourselves. So appreciate everybody using our link. It actually just helps us out. Jack and I aren't doing this to try to, you know, come your next, uh, you know, YouTube people, but actually just helps out. It helps us, you know, buy a few different meats here and there, upgrade some of our equipment, do what we do, just to try to keep this going and, and make it even better every time for you guys. So uh, we appreciate that. But here we are. So I just had the charcoal on half the grill, had it running pretty hot on the one side, seared them off for about a minute and a half, flipped them for about a minute and a half, then just moved them over to so I could double check temperatures. Got a nice little gift. I don't want to uh, break it up too big, but it says... Uh, Craig's, and it says meat in the middle, plate, which I figure the meat should speak for itself there. So uh, that's what we're showing there. So that was from um, our daughter and our, our fiance, Sean. So always look forward to holidays. She always gets some, some cool stuff for, for the channel. So uh, let's cut into one and see what it looks like. I was worried about going too far with them. And it looks like, actually, probably still right there, medium to medium well. So I'm pleased with that. And it's got a nice crust on it. Mmm. Man, that bite was excellent. That crust on there with the rub, and I'm sorry, I didn't mention it, but using Postal Barbecue Original Rub, Javen from Postal Barbecue has his own rubs. Like I said, we purchased these, uh, but definitely want to try them out. He's got a great channel. So, uh, Boy, that rub was, or that, uh, the rub is good, but boy, that sear is excellent on these things. Nice and tender, nice and juicy. Looking forward to a good meal tonight. So hopefully, like we're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, get notifications, and we'll see you next time.